Asanteni sana watazamaji wetu. Hii leo tumepata fursa ya kuweza kuzungumza na mbunge wa Mumia Mashariki Benjamin Washali. Benjamin Washali ni mbunge ambaye amehudumu wakati Mumia silikuwa haijagawanywa kuwa Mumia Magharibi na Mumia Mashariki. Kwa sasa hivi ni mbunge wa Mumia Mashariki na ameweza kuhudumu kwa vipindi vitatu. Lakini ikumbukwe kwamba mbunge huyu ameweza kusema kwamba yeye hatoweza uh, kuwania uh, wakati huu ambapo ni mwaka 2022. Yeye amesema kwamba amefanya kwa ama amehudumu dumu kwa vipindi vitatu na amewachia wengine waweze uh, kuendelea na kuwahudumia wakazo Mumia Mashariki. Mbunge huyu amekuwa ame katika chama uh, cha um, jubili na kwa sasa hivi yuko na anamunga mkono uh, Naib Rais William Ruto katika chama cha UDA ambayo ni muungano wa Kenya kwanza. Hivi majuzi mbunge huyu uh, Benjamin Washali ameweza kugonga vichwa vya habari. Maana tulianza kuona kulikuwa na vurugu pale katika uwanja wa Buhungu wakati alikuwa amenda ku inspect ule uwanja ama kuangalia matayarisho ambayo yalikuwaepo uh, wakati walikuwa wanajiandaa kufanya mkutano wa hadhara mkutano mkubwa kabisa na wa mwisho uh, wa naib rais William Ruto hapa magharibi mwa Kenya tunapoelekea uchaguzi mwezi Agosti lakini sasa hivi nimepata tu fursa ya kuweza kuzungumza naye ili kwa kwaje hadi sasa na kuna mambo yepi ambayo yanaendelea na pia kwa kiduchu tutaweza kuzungumzia masuala ya siasa jinsi yanavyoendelea hapa nchini karibu sana mbunge mumia uh, Benjamin Washali mm asante sana Violet asante yeah. uh, embu tuanze kabisa kidogo tuelezee tuchore picha ilikuwa kwaje huo wakati ndo ukajipata katika ile hali na polisi pale uh, buhungu kwa kwanza ne, ne sema asante kwa introduction na niongezee tu pia kwamba eh, kwa mula huu wa kisiasa mimi ndio nimekuwa coordinator wa eh, presidential campaign team mm -hmm. ya western region na pia campaign manager wa uh, Kenya kwanza Kakamega county mm -hmm. na uh, kilichofanyika on Saturday vile tulikuwa tumepanga kwamba Uh, team ya Kenya Kwanza kiongozwa na naibu wa rais William Ruto itazuru eh, Kakamega eh, kulingana na ile mpangilio yenye walipeana kwa IBC mm -hmm. kama program yao ya kukampain na walikuwa wamesema campaign ya Kakamega itakuwa Sunday tarehe 31 mm -hmm. so Saturday kama kawaida delienda uh, Kakamega na mnajua Um, mkutano wa ae, kiwango hii huwa inafanywa bokungu hapo ndio kila uh, presidential candidates wote wamekuwa na pia sisi tulikuwa tumekipanga ile tufanyie pale tulikuwa tume notify ofisi ya county government Wednesday na wa, hawakuwa na neno so nende, kama mimi coordinator nilikuwa naenda huko kuangalia vile naweza kulipa e, nikikumbusha tu kidogo one month ago eh, kabla ya hii mkutano tulikuwa tumekuwa na mkutano mwingine huko na tulikuwa tumelipa uh, shilingi 1100 so nilikuwa nimejiami na hizo na nilikuwa nataka niende nione ikiwa naweza kulipia sasa officially kwa sababu ofisi yao huwa inafunguliwa mpaka lunch time Saturday alafu uh, tuwe tumelipa kabla ya lunch time kufika hapo nikapata gate imefunga na watu wengi wako kwa gate kwa sababu Lodi za kuleta maema zile zingejengwa ile podium zilikuwa zimetoka kule e, Bungoma na zilikuwa zimeletwa Buhungu ndio ziweze kujengwa ndio the next following day iwe sasa tayari kuweza kusaidia kwa hiyo mkutano so mimi kufika pale kama coordinator nilikashindwa hiyo mlango gate imefunga namna gani na management iko ya stadium wanga ndani ya stadium kwa sababu hii this is a public in, uh, facility mm -hmm. na huwa inata, uh, inatakana kwamba public facilities ziwe accessible so walikuwa wamefunga na wameka kafuli uh, na chain sasa sisi tukashindwa tutafanya namna gani watu walikuwa hapo wengi na wakati huo huo tukaitisha media uh, wale viongozi kidogo walikuwa pale na nakumbuka vizuri nilikuwa hapo na MCS watarajiwa aswa huyu wa uh, Sheyue I think Sheyue 
uh, na wengine we were like about three uh, 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 leaders there and i think they were even captured on uh, on uh, video making a statement mm -hmm. so wakati hilo tulikuwa tunatengeneza statement hiyo ndipo nafikiria mtu alifungua atujui kama alitumia mawe ama nyondo wakati mlikuwa mnapea na statement mnautubia media nje ya mandani ya buhongo nje nje kwa barabara mm -hmm. uh, kwa sababu gate ilikuwa imefungwa mm -hmm. sasa vile tu tulimaliza statement na tulikuwa tunatoa tahadhari ta kwamba hii msipofungua tutavunja mm -hmm. na but those were just empty threats so mnawahamu kwa mnamaanisha atoka atoka na maanisha mm -hmm. so but wakati ule tulipinduka kuangalia nini endelea tukapata kumbe geti ilikuwa ishafunguliwa tayari hata alikuwa naangalia kwa video wakati pale mlikuwa mnautubia hamkuweza kujua ni nani aliweza kufungua hatuweze kujua watu walikuwa hapo wengi mm -hmm. yeah tungeweza kujua ni nani mm -hmm. alikuwa amevunja so wakati ile tuliangalia nyuma tukapata kumbe geti ime ya, iko wazi sasa tukatembea tukaenda kwa kwa ofisi huko mm hasa -hmm. kwa ofisi tukapata kwamba so, wakati huo 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 manager odera alikuwa amesimamishwa kuwa manager wa bohongo stadium na tukashindwa tafanya nini tukaona kidogo jamaa mwingine anakuja in black na ndio sasa wakaanza kusema ati sasa huyo ndio manager uh, mgeni mm -hmm. na wakati ule bado tulikuwa tunangojea kuongea na yeye naye pia polisi wakaingia wakati hiyo ndio wakaanza kuuliza oh sijui na ana amevunja gate ati washaru amevunja gate nini nini nikawaambia kama kuna evidence yoyote na wanajua siku hizi za masimu na na nini na lazima kuwe na mtu aliona mm -hmm. so ikawa hata kwa polisi wenyewe hawakuwa na evidence ya kutosha nikawaambia kama hao wako na evidence ya kutosha mimi niko wazi wanishike wale nishtaki kwa sababu my conscience mimi ni kiongozi siwezi kushika mawe ama nyundo ati nakonga kafuli ya, ya gate kufungulia hiyo mm -hmm. iwezekane iwe, iwe, mm -hmm. So hiyo heka heka ikawa namna hiyo tukaongea na manager manager naye pia akaanza kutuambia at sasa bei ya stadium sio 100 in 500 mm -hmm. 500 na kila hawa watu wote kila mtu yuko kwa simu sijui walikuwa naongea na nani mm -hmm. mara hata wale askari walikuwa wamekuja wanaongea kwa simu mara wale hata ule manager anaongea kwa simu sijui walikuwa naongea na nani mm -hmm. mimi nikipigia alitoaumia ule sports manager achukui uh, sports minister achukui nikipigia odora achukui nikipigia oparanya achukui so mimi nikashindwa nitafanya nini so baadaye tena tukaikuja tukaambiwa at sasa wa tulipe 900,000 ndio nikaitisha nikaongea na wa uh, cooperative candidate huyo malala alikuwa wako huko juu uh, lugari na mheshimiwa Musali Madawadi mm -hmm. wakasema wakija huko chini watatafuta hizo pesa eh, tulipe mm -hmm. so tukawa na heka heka sasa wakaanza kupasiu maneno ya ati yamevunjika me, get imevunjika mm -hmm. nika hata kuna kulikuwa na watu wengi hapo nikamwambia mimi i have been uh, people responded for the last 15 years mm -hmm. na sina history ya kuwa unruly mm -hmm. ya yeah, vitu zangu naenda na procedures uh, lakini hawako hawako kusikia uh, askari wengi wao walisikia lakini walikuwa kama watatu hivi including the deputy uh, OCBD wa Kakamega Central ndio wale walikuwa wanasema wale lazima wakaanza kunuvuruta vuruta na nini hiyo e, wengi wa askari hawakuona wa, maana ya kufanya vile walikuwa nafanya lakini sasa tukavurutana tukavurutana mwisho wake tena baada ya so, kile kikubwa ambacho kilisababisha huo mvurutano ni kwamba walikuwa wanasema uko unruly yes. umevunja gate ate ya ate mevunja gate nilisikia katika hiyo clip ya kwamba weka pingu basi weka pingu ya ya nilikuwa nasema kama wanataka kunishika mm -hmm. eh, dunia yote yona and uh, the beauty wale um, <coughs> journalists nilikuwa tume address hawakuwa wameenda waliingia ndani bila waliona askari wakaingia ndani mm -hmm. so walikuwa they were covering everything uh, kwa kwa video mm -hmm. na na wengine wa pia kwa masimu so kila kitu sasa nilikuwa nawaambia kama wamekuja kuni arrest na wako na evidence ya kutosha wanaweka kipingu kama um, uh, criminal um, 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 yoyote wanapeleka cell sasa hawakujitokeza sasa wakaanza kuvurutana namna hiyo hata nikajikonga kwa 
kwa buduki nikaumia hapa kidogo lakini siku jali kwa sababu hata katika maisha ya kawaida saa zingine mtu hujikonga na unaendelea na maisha. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kwa wakati tuliona huyu kijana mmoja alijitokeza akasema ya kwamba muniwe mimi ama munishike mimi. Edu, 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 edu is a god send. Is it is it is it among you security guys or what? No, edu, edu, edu mwana Mungu alileta eh. Mm -hmm. Edu wawire. Hata nilikuja nikamjua baadaye anaitwa Edu wawire. Mm -hmm. Anatoka hapa sehemu ya Navaholo. Mm -hmm. Sasa alikuwa kati ya wale wa, watu walikuwa wanatembea na kaona askari unajua sio kawaida kuona askari wengi kwa stadium mm -hmm. stadium ni mali ya mchezo mm -hmm. sio mali ya vita mm -hmm. sasa so, vile aliona askari wengi na wengine tena walikuwa na fukuzwa na tear gas na nini aka aka akawa ameingia hapo pale ndani so wakati ile aliona e, unyama wenye askari walikuwa wananifanyia mm -hmm. akaamua kwamba atakufa na mimi mm -hmm. so kuanzia sasa hiyo alikuwa rafiki yangu hata sasa hizi anajulikana So you had never interacted with him. Hata sikumjua jina. You mean? Sikumjua jina tulijiona baada ya ya hiyo shida ile tule ile wow. tukumba. Yeah. But niliona uli ulimpa shukrani ya Ya ilikuwa unajua eh ni Mungu alimleta kwa sababu mm -hmm. zile fimbo zote zenye askari walikuwa wamejitahiri kujitayarisha ku, kunipiga zilisha kwa hiyo jama. Mm -hmm. Na mimi na mwanae huruma sana. Mm -hmm. Walimpika hata mpaka mkampiga ingine mguu eh ngaja tulimpeleka hospitali lakini sasa hiyo maumivu eh, bado jamaa aliweza kunusurika mm -hmm. na hiyo ma, ma, maumivu. Mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. Kwa sasa hivi kuna joto la kisiasa. Mm -hmm. Na Kakamega is one of the counties zenye wame wametaja some of the hot spots in the county. Mm -hmm. Kwa kwa wewe as a, as a, as a, as a, as a leader what will you tell people of Kakamega as we near August polls? Onajua Kakamega is a hot spot because of uh, the previous elections. Uh, because it was known to be voting for our Azimio, Azimio candidate. But uh, for some time now, they have realized that uh, Uh, they may not be voting the right the right direction because Ababu, out of the handshake that uh, that was uh, for the person with the person they were voting for they didn't see much coming to Kagamega and Western at large uh, even now as we speak uh, is actually the president is uh, in Kisumu launching some uh, uh, projects there and campaigning for Tinga Uh, I don't know why he's campaigning for Tinga in Kisumu because that is a uh, normal uh, they they normally vote for him he should have come here and uh, claimed anything that he would have done here to ask the people of this place also to support uh, uh, Tinga but it is hot spots because what wame badilisha mawazo yao isiasa sio vile walikuwa nafikiria hata kama na nyinyi ni journalists Me, me, you've been observing easy crowds that come with the, uh, both national leaders and county leaders you will see that the people that the national leader of Azimio attracts are more or less like zile uh, i can attract myself as a member of parliament yeah so people here have really shifted their way of thinking and they feel strongly that they must change their way of thinking so that they can also uh their interests must be taken it should be taken on board because look at uh, mumias uh, mumias uh, as it is today um there's a lot of pilferage that is going on in mumias and uh, i think many people may not know that even the uh, today if you went there to set the diffuser system that uh, the, that the, that was most of the parts that makes up Uh, diffuser have been taken away mm -hmm. people are wondering where uh, the guy who is setting up mumias has relatives who have also set up similar uh, factories within i uh, without really mentioning names people are wondering because he has not made much effort in the, in terms of uh, sugar development uh, both in the nuclear estate and in the outgrower uh, 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 farms uh, belonging to uh, one inch of this area he has not made much effort so 
how does he start crashing? And because we were being told the other day that there's smoke coming from uh, from uh, sugar process. So we are wondering what are they processing in the factory? Because before we have had uh, pan pepper, also more smoke coming out, and uh, up to today we have not seen any pepper. So people here are worried, and uh, as the saying goes, once bitten, it was here. So are you saying it is as usual uh, political gimmicks that is going on right now? Yes, uh, especially if we see subsidy being paid for Unga uh, to last two months. And uh, the many things happening, we wonder. Let me also just add that uh, when the sugar production, uh, production in this country was at its op optimum, mm -hmm. you will find shortage when Mias goes for service. Mm -hmm. And also some soya shortage when Zoya goes for service. Mm -hmm. Mumias today is down, Zoya is down, Chamele is down, Son is down, and you cannot go to the shops and lack sugar. Mm -hmm. Where is that sugar coming from? So it is the government policy that we need to fix. And the government policy starts with the leader of government. Uh, you know who the leader of government is. Yes, yes. So if the same leader of government is saying, support uh, the guy we have been supporting because of the handshake, so, at the end of the day, the result will be the same. That Uru is asking us to support Tinga so that uh, whoever has been bringing sugar continues to bring sugar at the expense of farmers, sugar and farmers of this area. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what we've been telling people. And I think people have started digesting, and uh, most of them are going to vote for William Ruto. Mushimi, a number of, you know, like oh, the, two, the two coalitions. Uh, Azimio in Kenya Kwanza. All of them are promising locals about the revival of Mumia's sugar company. No, 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 no. Azimio is not specific. Azimio, if you went to their manifesto, they are talking of revamping agriculture in general. Mm -hmm. It is only, it's it's only Kenya way. Kwanza that has come out specifically to mention Mumia sugar in their manifesto, mm -hmm. not generalizing the way okay. the, 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 the Mumia has generalized. So basically, uh, I'm actually saying in their political rallies, yeah. Not really at the manifesto per se, but in the political rallies, we've seen them coming and saying, Tunataka hi, Tunataka hi. We are promising in two weeks, Tutakuwa na Moshi, and then Tutakaona Moshi, Mekuja hapo, and then, you know, and all that. So, do you think you as Kenya Kwanza, you are so genuine in terms of revival of the moment? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And by the way, we are now talking of benefit of doubt. Mm -hmm. Who among these two will give benefit of doubt? Mm -hmm. One, we even have, he's indebted with the Mumias, he has Mumias debts. Uh, so, and uh, the the person who also contributed in the the collapse of Mumias was a person who was a uh, member of his party. So they have uh, uh, dirty hands, uh, so to speak. They have dirty hands in terms of the survival of Mumias Mumias sugar. Mm -hmm. The people I know who have clear conscience on how to revive Mumias sugar is the Kenya Kwanza team. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As it is right now, um, clanism, umbereho and all that has been taking center stage, especially when it comes to matters, elections in, in Kakabega County and Western General. Yeah. We can say maybe in the country. Yes. Do you think it is still playing a uh, role in these elections, 2022? Yes, because you know now, currently, the economy is... Uh, uh, the one uh, dictating the behavior of the electorate. Because right now, uh, the cost of life has gone through the roof. And, uh, and uh, people are looking for survival. And they don't come out as individuals. They walk around as their families. Well, you could call for a meeting of 100 people, you end up having a meeting of 1,000 people. Because people are looking for survival and they think that all politicians have looted this country. And that's why they keep on chasing them left, right, and center, thinking that they can help them to survive a day or two. Mm -hmm. It is very pathetic. It's very pathetic. I've been around from 2002. Mm -hmm. it, this is uh, abnormal. There, it's, uh, the 2022 ab one. The 2022 one is a very abnormal behavior. Mm -hmm. Because even in 2020, in 2002, uh, when I, was, I first ran on Kano, I did not have money. But uh, even the little I had, I could look for people to give and uh, you find that people are very busy doing their own uh, businesses. Those days we used to do our campaigns in December. 
That's when the elections used to take place, mm -hmm. as the, uh, the year ends. Mm -hmm. But you will hardly find people, even with Christmas, you will hardly find people coming to, to visit. You have to look for them. Mm -hmm. Today, the, the voters are looking for politicians. Mm -hmm. They, even those ones who hide, in fact, I don't think there's any politician who spends a night in his house because uh, they, are you, away. they are running away from <laughs> uh, crowds. And you know, the same people will keep on coming, 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 and uh, you have nothing to do. You so do you, have, think, do you think the umbera whole thing, eh, oh, will make them elect people who are not... No, no, I, I don't think, I don't think, I know, I know these people uh, because all politicians somehow are giving something. Mm. So it will be the ideology that these people will still vote for even if they are taking money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you must convince them that uh, even after, after elections, mm -hmm. these people will benefit from your leadership. Mm -hmm. So Umbera, you know, they will give, they will keep on giving and I know these people have been around for some time. These people will keep on taking money mm -hmm. and uh, they have also <coughs> learned some gimmicks. Mm -hmm. uh, when you go there with Azmio, they know how to respond to you in Azmio. <laughs> when you go there with the uh, uh, UDA, they will they go, they will, they'll know how to, uh, yes, yeah, they will go, they'll respond to you. But eventually, they'll vote for a person they feel strongly that will improve their lives when it comes to after elections. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But at, at some percentage, it will play a role. Yeah, at some percentage, it will, mm -hmm. but it's minimal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's minimal. The other day, um, um, we had the Jirongo coming in strongly and saying, Musali Amudavadi and uh, Wetangula failed the Luya Nation because they were together and they had purpose to go to the ballot. But uh, the two, they had other plans. And so they went and joined DP Ruto. According to uh, Jirongo, he has come in as the savior of Mulebe unity and all that. What is your take on the same? You know, a note of 500 shillings is referred to as Jirongo. <laughs> that, Why? That, that, <laughs> that, 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 that is back in 2000, uh, 1992 mm -hmm. when Jirongo was chairman of uh, youth for YK92, youth, youth Kenya for Moi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's when the note for 500 shillings was printed. Mm -hmm. And I think Jerongo is the first person to hold that money. That gives you an impression because it's not uh, many families that have uh, mo monetary, uh, monetary association because it's only, I think, the family of uh, Kenyatta and the family of Moi mm -hmm. whose portraits are uh, on their notes. Mm -hmm. But even just by name, I think that is the, he's the only lawyer. Mm. I think for some reason, uh, in between, Jerongo lost it. And uh, he also lost the lawyers. He doesn't know how, how, where the lawyers are today. He's completely... Musalia and Wetangula have been around for uh, lo a long time and they have been moving with, with the lawyers. They know where the lawyers are. Jerongo does not know because I think at one point he... He disappeared and uh, he got lost and uh, 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 many of us do not know what he is doing. At one point, he was a presidential candidate. And it's a shame that someone who has been a presidential candidate can now come back again to start running as governor. Uh, I think to me, um, uh, being summarizing the entire... Uh, the entire experience of how I know of Jerongo, I should have sought advice um, because he will be embarrassed by uh, as vying as governor. Mm -hmm. Because if I vie today as president, I would automatically want to be, I will automatically make it as a governor. Mm -hmm. Look at uh, Kalonzo Mujoka. If Kalonzo Mujoka didn't run as governor, I'm sure he'll make it as a, if he didn't run as president, he will automatically make it as governor mm -hmm. in Ketui. Mm -hmm. But uh, Yerongo, you would be surprised that even the votes that he would get may not be the same votes that a member of parliament will get. Mm -hmm. yeah. So where, where are you putting him, where are you placing him in terms of the seven that are, are vying for the gubernatorial seat? He will be lucky to come number four. Mm. Yeah. So what will you advise him? I mean, like, um, it, it, it's not a must that one must be in leadership. Mm -hmm. I have been running as I've been a uh, uh, member of parliament for 15 years. Here I am. 
I've decided to sit back and also give other others opportunity. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Jerongo should be my member. I want to be the chairman of the retirees. <laughs> Jerongo should come in as a member uh, so that we retire quietly. Uh, we take care of other things. Uh, yes. So, so is Uru Kenyatta also your member? <laughs> uh, no, no. Uru Kenyatta is, uh, is retiring by law. You know, Uru Kenyatta, mm -hmm. he has no option. Mm. He is going home. He has no option. Yeah, him is uh, retiring constitutionally. This, this is a difference. Oh, so, Me, so as, I would have run if so, I wanted to so run. So you as you as the chairman of the uh, unitarily uh, yes, the retirees. retirees, yes. Ah, okay. Yes, yes. Ah. And Tainu is my secretary. Oh. Retainu, there is a, another member of parliament from uh, Bomet. Uh -huh. He is also... Is your secretary. Is so you already, secretary. You, you already have a... Uh, a yes, the Dwale who came in temporarily as a member and then again <laughs> went back. So... <laughs> We are a, a team of us. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. So where where do you um, see this country, this county, Kakamega County, in like maybe the next ten years, especially with the kind of leaderships that we have? Of course, now we you know you know we have Fernandez Baraza, we have Malala, we have Jirongo and others. Where do you see as um, yeah in terms of the leaders that we have vying for the gubernatorial seat? Uh, for me. We really need uh, a person who has been around for some time mm -hmm. in Kakamega. A person who will quickly catch up with the problems of the people of Kakamega. And uh, that's why I've been supporting uh, Kileo Malala and I still do. Uh, because Kileo, as a senator of Kakamega, I am sure even if he was not finding a solution, at least he has been, he knows uh, a number of problems that the people of Kakamega uh, are undergoing and I'm sure that's where we need to start from. Mm -hmm. We need to start from a person who has been on the ground. Uh, Fernandez is my brother from here but he has been a CEO of a multinational uh, company in Nairobi. He will not know what the parents have been going through like uh, the lunch program that uh, Kileo Malala uh, is coming out to solve by providing uh, uh, lunch for students. He will not know, he will not know that. Even if you told him that this is the problem, he will now start thinking of the, 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 the science of how to go about it. Mm -hmm. But Cleo already has it on the fingertips. Mm -hmm. He already knows that uh, we have nurseries, distance, that you know the, the kids who go to nursery are uh, still very young. Mm -hmm. He has promised that he will even put up nurseries even in churches. And I think that's a very good thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's a high time that we partnered with the, with the public mm -hmm. institutions like uh, church. Church, of course, is not it's quasi-public. Mm -hmm. uh, so that we can help people. Because if you put up uh, uh, nursery schools near churches, then it will help uh, kids who are still young to access education. Mm -hmm. And that's how you nurture uh, matters uh, education mm -hmm. and uh, I think uh, Kileo has quite a number of advantages that mm -hmm. we need to look at mm -hmm. and uh, even going into the future we still need to get someone who has been around who has been around and someone who knows even the boundaries of Kamega and what has been happening within the boundary, within the borders. Okay. Yeah. Among, among many of those who are vying and many rallies that have attended, mm -hmm. some are saying he's, he's young, he's, much, he's not mature, he's not, uh, he cannot fit in the big shoes of Paranya has left behind, but we were happy to pick your Do you uh, think Ataika uh, Makaratasi, they are going to share Which big fish, uh, big, big shoes that uh, Paranya has You know, know there, was a, there was a confusion and I'll, I'll tell you for free. Mm -hmm. You know, when this road was done by the Kenya, the, the, the government, national government, mm -hmm. people thought that it's operating. And even up to today, some people still think that uh, the changes that came about the improvement of the road network in Kakamega was made by Oparanya. It's false. Mm -hmm. uh, he set the hospital, the, 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 the hospital structure. Mm -hmm. Today, it's not finished. Well, now he's uh, already on his way out. It's not finished. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you are a good leader, you finish one project after the other. He was launching uh, an office in the northern part of uh, Kakamega, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. But why can't you finish one and then go to the other? So that you are, we are dealing with finished projects, mm -hmm. not um, uh, semi-finished. Because mm -hmm. those, that way they will not help, they will not help us. Mm -hmm. 
He may have succeeded one or two t t uh, issues, but there are other areas that he failed miserably. So there are no big shoes. Like uh, even when we came, we came to Mumias, mm -hmm. and uh, at one point uh, the president was doing very well in terms of revival. If we would have pushed at that point, he became the chairman of the sugar something something task force. Task force. Mm -hmm. If we would have pushed at that point, Mumias would be contributing half of Kakameka's revenue. Mm -hmm out of the, the, the sales money and uh, other taxes. Mm -hmm. But uh, here we are, Mumias, rotting. Mm -hmm. uh, some pits and pieces being uh, uh, stolen out of the factory. So, so um, yeah, I don't think there are any big sh shoes that we are talking about. Mm -hmm. In fact, what we have is just sandals. <laughs> uh, just sandals <laughs> that he is leaving behind. According to me, according to me, there are just sandals he is leaving behind. My God. Okay, and that's your sandals. sandals. No, there's no shoes. No shoes. There's no shoes. There's no shoes. So, what? You can just also mention? No, I can't really say, but that is basically people are saying that... The factory, the tea factory. The, the, factory, the, 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 factory, the tea factory in uh, Ishinyalu, it, 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 there's nothing. Mm -hmm. So, where are the big shoes coming So, you're from? disputing that? No, there, there, there are no big shoes. Uh, what you were doing, let me tell you, me as a member of parliament, I could do better with those resources. You mean? Oh, much better. Much better. Mm. Look around. Uh, in fact, uh, like But at for some me, point, Ulitishia, Ulitishia, you wanted to buy and then you cut the new one. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, the same thing that you had talked about, uh, the electorate uh, demanding too much. That's where, what scared me. And uh, I didn't have those resources. I'm going to pay for I'm going governor. Governor. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, okay, yeah. Uh, because because of the rains, I wanted you to uh, help us. There is this issue of um, uh, the polls. Even today, there is another one in Metolewa, and it is rating Raila Odinga Kuambele. Are you scared about the polls? No, they don't scare me, because if those uh, polls will be realistic, then they should be talking of the same report. Why would uh, 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 polls, the, uh, another team give 53, the, the other one giving 42, the other one, it's now um, a confusion. In fact, they are setting confusion. In fact, may, if I will be a member of parliament, if I will be a member of parliament, we will make a law to manage uh, opinion poll companies because they are setting confusion and that confusion can tilt this country. We should not allow these opinion polls, everybody just waking up from his bedroom and writing reports that can make things go bad for this country. It, it, it's wrong, it's wrong, and I don't know why we have allowed this thing to go this far. Because if someone is related to me, he writes a good opinion for me. If he is related to someone else, he writes a good opinion. And if someone is given money, he's, no, we cannot allow such an activity to go on for a country that is advanced politically like this country you shouldn't we shouldn't because they are used to till the thinking of people and uh, the first we stopped this kind of business mm -hmm. and nonsense i will call it nonsense the better for this country let this uh, this business of opinion polls be thrown out of the window let kenya decide when it comes to election day mm -hmm. yeah Okay. Yeah. So, so thank you so much. So huyu amekuwa ni mbunge wa Mumias Mashariki Benjamin Washali. Tukizungumza tu mawili matatu kuhusiana na masuala ya siasa na vile vile maendeleo hapa uh, katika uh, county ya Kakamega na nchini kwa ujumla. Kama nilivyosema yeye amesema kwamba uh, yuko tayari kuweza kusimama ama ku, kuwania kwa kipindi cha nne amesema wale wengine ambao wamekuwa wakiwoma hapo wakuja waweze kuchukua hii nafasi na kuweza kuwahudumia wakazi wa Mumias Mashariki. Kutoka hapa mimi sina laziada naitwa Violet Auma.